Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week six assignment of the course programming in Java. So if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this with your friends and classmates and try to share that within your WhatsApp student groups and make it uh, send as, as many students as possible so that they will also get benefited like you. So definitely like the video guys uh, because uh, the number of uh, likes will decide for how many students it will appear in the suggestions so make it as much as students watch our videos so that everyone uh, will get benefited through our videos so if you want to do, do that then please like the video so i tried my best to give you the most accurate answers so if there are any changes i will mention in the comment section uh, if you get any doubt regarding the so if you got any other solution you can also give your opinion in the comment section about the answer. So now let's see the first question. So first one, which of the following is not a method of the thread class in Java? So for first question, the correct answer is option C, joins. So there is no such thing called joins. There is only one thing that is join. There is no yes, but they have given yes. So it is a wrong answer. I mean uh, the wrong uh, method. So option C is the correct answer. Now moving on to the second question. So second one, let me erase this. So second question, which of the following statements is or are true? So for second question, I have got multiple answers. So the first one is option A, public int get ID. That means uh, it will return the ID of the thread. And second option is also correct public boolean is alive method so it tests if the thread is alive or not and next third one public void interrupt it interrupts the thread and fourth one is also correct public boolean is interrupted method so it will test if the thread has been interrupted or not so all these four are correct answers so these are completely my probable solutions guys so if you differ with my solution you can give your answer in the comment section what you are thinking as the correct answer so i think these are 100 percent correct so if there are any changes that comes to my notice i will definitely update in the comment section so before the final submission once again check the comment section guys next third question So third one, third question, which of the following can be used to create an instance of thread? So for third question, I have got two probable solutions. The first one is option A by implementing the runnable interface and the other one is option b by extending the thread class so only these two are the probable solutions that i have got as the correct answers for third question so mark option a and option b now let's move on to the fourth question So fourth one, so here they have given the program and they are asking what is the output of the following program. So they have given a try block here, a catch block. So within this catch block, they have given another catch block, right? So now let's see the answer. So when I did this in my compiler, I have got the answer as
option C guys compile time error so mark option C because so for this catch block there is no try block right for this try block there is a catch block and for this catch block there is no try block so with that uh, error you will get the compilation error right so mark option c so guys please use these solutions as a reference purpose so fifth question now which one of these keywords must be used to handle the exception thrown by try block in some rational manner so this word is very important rational manner so for fifth question the correct answer is option d catch catch is the keyword so mark option d now let's move on to the sixth question so sixth one so before moving into the sixth one i want to make a small announcement regarding the exam preparation mcqs so for the course programming in java we have prepared a uh, nearly huge number of 300 mcqs so with nearly 5 years of experience we have gathered these solutions the previous year solutions so here there are two packs available one is the savings pack and the other one is super savings pack so in the super savings pack uh, you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs for just 500 only up to 5 members can get access for the same amount so no extra price needed only for this 500 rupee up to 5 members can get access till the exam day not one or two days I mean not one or two months up till the exam day you will get the access and there is high topic coverage and also here so there is search option available so to search which question you want no need to scroll every question and every page so you can easily search the questions and also easy to revise because it is a pdf right so pdf so you can easily you can easily scroll that right so there is another thing also just savings pack so here you will get 150 mcqs and it is 300 and up to 3 members only can access it so if you compare this one or uh, the super i uh, mean savings pack the super savings pack is very much better because you are getting more mcqs more mcqs means uh, there is a chance for better practice and also high chances for getting a better grade compared to this uh, savings pack my recommendation is super savings pack is very much better so this is the email id you have to mail me for so i have given the same email id in the description as well as in the comment section already many students have taken our packs and got benefited too so hope you will do the same so this is the email id guys so there is another pack available so this is just youtube membership it is only for one person and for one person it will be 119 rupees and it is also available in video format only and it is only for one month only there is no exam day validity it is only for one month and it is 119 rupees per person that is available in video format so if you want to access this no need to message me just go to our channel page so this is our channel page so there is a join button beside this subscribe button right so click on this join button so after clicking on this join button you will get a page like this so there is third third one 119 per month live stream members only pack so click on that and next click on this join button and make payment that's it you will get access to not only that one video you will get access to all these videos so first go to playlist option so click exam preparation videos so here you can see many videos i have uploaded so you can get all these videos for 119 only so with that single payment you can access all these videos so here you can see uh, there are videos uploaded for java also 
so here you can see java part 1 and part 2 videos uploaded so if you want to get this just go to our channel page and click on join button here and you can get access to all those videos so this is not pdf guys this is video format no need to message me only message me if you want the pdf packs that means this one this pack so if you only if you want to buy then only mail me guys and for this 119 membership pack so you will get roughly i think uh, 100 plus mcqs only here for this video format it's so it's better to take this this only so pdf pack so if you want any of this pdf pack message to this email id if you want this 119 youtube membership no need to message me you can directly join our channel so now let's get back to the solutions So sixth one, assume the following method is properly synchronized and called from a thread A on an object B, weight of 2000. So this is the weight method. And next, after calling this method, when will the thread A become a candidate to get another turn at the CPU? So for sixth question, the correct answer is option A. After thread A is notified, or after two seconds so this is the correct answer so mark option a now let's move on to the seventh question so seventh one The following is a simple program using the concept of thread. So this is the program they have given. They are asking what is the output of the above program. So I have did this in my compiler. So for seventh question I have got the answer as option A guys. Now let's move on to the eighth question. Eighth question. So eighth one, for the program given below, what will be the output after execution? So similarly, they have given a program here and they are asking again the same thing that is output. So for eighth question, the correct answer is option C1. So mark option C. Now let's move on to the ninth question. So the ninth one, which of the following is a correct constructor for a thread object? So for the ninth question, the correct answer is option A, thread runnable A from a string str. So this is the correct option. So mark option A as the correct answer for ninth question. Now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one. So 10th question. So guys, once again, I want to make you remember. So we are providing a huge number of 300 MCQs guys. So completely based on previous year NPTEL Java questions. So you'll get 300 MCQs. So just mail me to this email ID. So for uh, you'll get it for a price of 500 rupees up to five members can access that with the same uh, purchase so till the exam day you'll get the validity already many students have taken that so be one of them and now let's see the last question let me erase this first so yeah 10th question in the last question of this assignment which of these keywords is used to manually throw an exception? 
so for 10th and the final question the answer is option c throw throw is that keyword so mark option c so friends these are the solutions for week 6 assignment of programming in java course so hope this video helpful for you uh, if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this with your friends classmates and within your whatsapp student groups and make it spread as much as possible so that each and every student will get benefited so definitely like this video and uh, if you want the this super savings pack a pdf you can mail me to this email id so please make sure that you mail me only if you want to purchase this so already many students have taken that so hope you will follow the same so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you